Okay, this lesson is for section 3-4 uh, again, but this time we're going to focus on writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So I'm going to come back and fill this out, um, but first I just want to do a brief review on parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, if you guys recall from you know geometry as well as um, earlier in algebra, you probably have studied some parallel lines before. Um, so I just want to do a little brief review here. I've got two lines, K and L, that are um, parallel. Oh, I have line M. It should be line K and L here. Okay, so line K is parallel to L, and I want to check the slopes of both of these. So it doesn't matter which point I start at, but if I want to check the slope from here to here, I'm going up two units and to the right three. So that gives me a rise of two and a run of three. So that's two thirds. Now let's say I, in line L, I pick this point and this point and I choose to go down and left. Well, to do that, I would go down one, two, three, four units. So I have a rise of negative four, because I'm dropping four. And I go left one, two, three, four, five, six units. So that's negative six to give me a positive two thirds. So no matter which two points I select here on the graph of K or on L, um, I'm always going to get the exact same slope. Okay, So I had a slope here of 2 thirds, here I have a slope of 2 thirds. Um, parallel lines will always have the same slope. Okay, now let's say that, again, um, should say L here, line L is perpendicular to K. So if L is perpendicular to K, let's check the slope here. Um, I want to go from this point to, let's say, this point. I'm going down 1, 2, 3, so down 3, and I'm going to the right 1, 2 units, so that's a positive 2 here. And then let's say I'm checking on uh, line L here, and I want to go from this point to, let's do that one here. I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units, and then to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in this case, I went up 6 and then right 9 to give me 2 thirds. So if I take a look at the original slope here for line k, and I compare that to l, so I have for k, negative 3 halves, and for um, line l, 2 thirds. Hopefully you remember the term here, but these are opposite, right? One is negative, one is positive, so they're opposites. And they're also reciprocals. The reciprocal of 3 halves is 2 thirds and vice versa. So perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So if I took those two slopes from before, 2 thirds and the negative 3 halves, I just want to show you something. If you take their product, their product is going to equal negative 1. That's actually um, how you can define reciprocal, opposite reciprocal slopes. So perpendicular lines will have opposite reciprocal slopes, which means that their products of their slopes ends up being negative 1. Now the only case where that's not true is with a horizontal and a vertical line, because these are guaranteed to be perpendicular but um, you can't multiply zero times an undefined number, so in that case you don't have, right, because the slope of um, a vertical line um, is undefined, so like let's say it was a number over zero, and the slope of a horizontal line is zero, this does not equal negative one because of this term here. So in all other cases though, this is true. Okay, so let's go back to our note sheets. So um, to finish this off, parallel lines have the same slope, and perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes and their product of their slopes is negative one. So this is kind of an important little thing here um, that we're going to use in this chapter. Okay, so now that we uh, know that per parallel and perpendicular lines have you know same slope or opposite reciprocal slopes, it depends on what you're given in the equation, but you're going to use that information to create an equation, whether it's in slope-intercept form, point-slope form, or standard form. So from before, you should be really familiar with how to do any of those equations. Okay. So in this case here, we don't specify in number one what type of equation it's supposed to be. It just says that you have a line passing through 4, negative 1, and it's parallel to this line here. So you can imagine, you know, you have a slope of, I know, negative 3x plus 1 might look like that. You want to find another, uh, another line that's going to intersect um, the point 4, negative 1, but also be parallel. So you're trying to basically find this equation of that line here. So what you're going to do, because you already know that these two lines are parallel um, and they share the same slope, is you're going to steal that slope. You're going to say, okay, if the slope is negative 3 in this line, then my new line should also have a slope of negative 3. And then I can use that point here and just simply put it into point-slope form. 
again, point slope form is the easiest form to um, start off your equation for your lines. So I use y plus 1 equaling negative 3 times x minus 4. And I can stop here because it doesn't ask me to do anything beyond um, finding an equation of a line, which is what I just did. Okay, and number 2, it says it passes through 0, negative 1, and is parallel to 3x minus 6y equals 12. So in this case, the slope is not easily identifiable, so make sure that you solve for y in order to, to figure out what your slope actually is. So um, a lot of times students will just take um, this number here and make that the slope. That is not equal to the slope because the, the y has not been um, isolated. So what I'm going to do first is find slope. And to do that, I take the equation 3x minus 6y equals 12, and I get the y alone. So I subtract my 3x, and I divide out that 6 to get a positive 1 half here. Um, and then it really doesn't matter what the rest of this equation is. I don't care about that negative 2 because all I really care about here is the fact that that slope was positive 1 half. So now I just found my new slope. It's m equals 1 half. And I already have a point here, 0, negative 1. Now you could do one of two things here. You can put it into point slope form like we did in this equation above, you know, in problem number 1. But since you have a slope, right, and you have the y-intercept, hopefully you're, 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 you know, trying to look for things like this. This is the y-intercept of the line. So I'm going to stick that right into slope-intercept form. y equals 1 half x minus 1. And again, I could put it in point slope form. Either one is fine unless they specify which one they want. Okay, the next one. Um, this time it's going to pass through um, 1, 8 and be perpendicular to y equals 3x, 3 fifths x minus 1. Okay, so this is slightly different. Now we're looking for a perpendicular line. We are looking to find, you know, let's say that the equation of 3 fifths x minus 1, I don't know, it's going to look something maybe like that. We're trying to find a line through 1, 8. So let's say the point 1, 8 is up here. We're finding this equation of that line here. So we already know something about that line. It's going to have opposite reciprocal slope with that line here. So I'm going to take this 3 fifths, and I, again, don't care about that other number. All I'm going to look at is the slope. So to find my slope here, I take 3 fifths, and I take its opposite, so it would be negative 5 thirds. So now I use this slope and the point 1, 8, and I'm going to put that into point slope form because that's the easiest form for me to use. So I have y minus 8 equaling negative 5 thirds times x uh, minus 1. And this would be my final answer here. In problem number 4, um, this time it says to pass through the point 2, 3 and be perpendicular to y equals negative 4. So this one's really, I think, a good thinking question. It makes you um, visualize it. Well, it helps if you visualize this because um, the line y equals negative 4 is a horizontal line. So imagine you've got this horizontal line here at negative 4. So this is the equation of y equals negative 4. What type of line would have to be perpendicular to that? Well, the only lines that can be perpendicular are vertical lines, right? These would all be perpendicular to that line here. Well, what we're looking for specifically is a vertical line that passes through the point 2, 3. So here's the point 2, 3, and there's the line that would go through it. Well, how do you define that equation? Well, the, the equation here is defined at all values equal 2. So that is actually the equation of that line, x equals 2. So kind of a shortcut here, if you look at your coordinate, since it's supposed to be an x equals equation, you look at what x actually equals in your point, and that would have to be the equation of the line. All right, number 5 says that um, it's passing through 2, 5, and perpendicular to the line through the points negative 2, negative 1, and negative 3, 6. So this is definitely um, the most difficult question here, because um, you're asked to find the slope first um, when you're given two points here. And hopefully you're not confused by this because they don't just tell you what the slope is. They don't tell you what the equation of the line is. All you care about, though, since it's supposed to be um, perpendicular, is whatever the slope here is. So you're going to find your slope. After you do that, since it's perpendicular, you're going to take the opposite reciprocal. So my first step here to find the slope, I take the points, and I'm going to stack my points. So negative 1 over negative 2, 6 over negative 3, subtract in between. And I get negative 7. So my slope of the line is negative 7, but I want to use a slope that's perpendicular to that slope. So I'm going to take its opposite reciprocal, 
and my new slope is now going to be positive one seventh. This is probably the the one step that people forget to do. Maybe not forget, but they just kind of you know they're rushing through something on a test or quiz, and then they um, you know will leave their 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 slope as that negative seven. So just be really careful that you finish off the problem and you say okay perpendicular means I'm going to use one seventh. And now you're going to use the point that they gave you, the two five here, and you're just going to use that slope here and that point. And you're going to have y minus five equaling one seventh times x minus two. So we kind of went the short way here with just putting it into point slope form. Sometimes they'll ask you specifically to put it into slope intercept form or standard form, which is what you would have done yesterday. So now we're just building on one more idea and one more step into um, how we solve, you know, and find the equation of the line. Okay, that is the end of this lesson. These are questions on the back six, seven, and eight that you can try on your own and you can check um, the answer key with you. So thanks for uh, listening.